Okay, we're going to talk about who Julian Assange is. Julian Assange is an Australian computer programmer. He is the founder of Wikileaks, an international non-profit organization that published and secret information, including the Iraq war logs, Afghanistan war logs, and a lot of other diplomatic cables. So he has been an, a controversial figure due to these actions. Some people praised him, some people criticized him. Has been sought for extradition by US government since 2010 because he received the documents from Chelsea Manning, who was actually a former US Army intelligence analyst. He sought a refuge in Ecuadorian embassy in London, and he's lived there for about seven years before the UK police arrested him in 2019. A case was raised against him in 2010 by the Swedish government, had issued a warrant back in 2010 saying he conducted some sexual assault. There was a lot of mishandling in the case, lack of transparency, delay in the case and the extradition itself. Later on, the case was dropped by these people in 2017 and in November 2019, the Stockholm District Court decided to drop the case. Why the arrest of Julian Assange is uh, considered unfair by many, as it is seen as an infringement of his freedom of speech and freedom of press. Again, some people argue that the charges against him are politically motivated because the so-called crime that he conducted was committed in the UK soil, However, the charges was brought in by the US government in 2010 and it had raised a lot of concerns about the extradition process because he was more likely to be facing an unfair and biased trial. So, However, we need to remember that Assange's case is a complex one that raises a lot of important questions about the freedom of press, government secrecy. In June 2022, Priti Patel from the Home Secretary of UK government approved the extradition process. At the moment, he is confined in the Belmarsh Category A prison in London since April 2019. We'll watch and see what's coming next for Julian Assange. Stay tuned.